guys, I hope my setup is semi okay. I'm still kind of figuring out where, you know, is the best place to sit and film. Also, I apologize if I sound kind of quiet today and everything. I've been really sick the past couple of days and I've got a throat infection. So my throat is killing me, but I wanted to push through and I wanted to film some videos for you guys today. So today's video is going to be my July favorites. I always have to kind of like reflect on that what month is it so yeah this video is going to be my july favorites um i don't have a lot of favorites this month but i guess i kind of do i don't know um but anyway um i thought i'd gather some of the things that i've been loving this month and show you i can't believe that it's nearly august i mean soon it will be october and then it'll be halloween and it's just like you know summer's nearly gone so it's kind of crazy but anyway enough blabbing um and i'm going to get on to my july favorites i hope you guys enjoy this video so the first things as always i guess i'll do makeup um i don't have a lot of makeup products this month because i haven't been doing much with my face really so i'll just get straight into it my first favourite is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and mine's in the shade NC15. I've had this concealer for ages, I think I've had it for like two years now, whatever, and I try not to use it because it's really expensive, but um, lately, because I've been working really long shifts at work and stuff, I work like 11 hours on Mondays and Tuesdays, and I want something that's going to really stick down and, you know, hide my under eye circles and just really cover and stick. So I've been using my um, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I just forgot how much I actually adore this concealer. It's amazing, it's super expensive, but it really is worth the money because a little bit goes a long way. The only thing is the pump squirts out a lot of product, which is kind of annoying and a bit of a sham, but what can you do? Um, and plus the colour matches me really well. So I'm in the palest shade and um, yeah, it's just a really good concealer um, and it, it's literally foolproof. Like you could, you know, nothing can fight through this concealer. It lasts forever and it sticks down like glue. So it's absolutely amazing and highly recommended by me. My next favourite is nothing new. I think I've included this in a few previous favourite videos. This is my Milani Luminoso Baked Blush. Um, in the shade Luminoso, I already said that, but I just love this colour. It's the perfect shade for nearly every skin tone, but especially um, people of pale colour because it just gives the perfect amount of buildable cover. And it's this beautiful coral blush, which you guys have probably seen before, if you know. And it's just absolutely amazing. I'm wearing it today, and because it's a baked blush, you think it might be really shimmery, but it's not. It just, it really makes you look really sun-kissed and healthy and glowy, and I absolutely love this. I decided to get this because of Nikki Tutorials on YouTube. Like, I've been subscribed to her forever, and she's really pale like me, and I was like, okay, if she says it's amazing, I'm definitely going to try it. So, um, yeah, definitely recommend it, especially if you're a ghost like me. <laughs> So my next favourites are some lip products. Um, first favourite I'll show you is just a lip liner. This is my Rimmel London Spice Lip Liner. And this is now my new favourite lip liner. I absolutely love it. It literally is the perfect shade for me to outline my lips. And it just works with a ton of different colours. Like I'm wearing it today with this pink colour. And it, it works from with pinks to dark colours to nudes. It's just an all round amazing colour. Ooh. I think one of my neighbours is putting up a trampoline. That's cool. <laughs> anyway, distractions. Um, and it's just a really nice, like, warm nude colour. And, um, yeah, I heard that it's a pretty good dupe for, I think, it's Max. Does Mac have a spice lip liner? Or am I thinking of Saw? Anyway, it's just a really good dupe as well, apparently, from one of the Mac lip liners that everyone raves about. But it's just a really good, really inexpensive lip liner that just works with every lip colour. So now I have two lip sticks to show you. Um, I've been really into like nudes again lately. I know it's like summer and I just have been loving nudes. Um, my first favourite is this LA Splash Lip Couture Liquid Lipstick in the shade OG Ghoulish. I did a full review on these if you guys want to check them out. But they're a liquid lipstick that are absolutely incredible. And this is that really mauve grey nude colour. It's like a really strange colour, but I've been wearing it a lot lately. It's just easy to throw on and 
it's really awesome it's got quite a goth vampy vibe to it and it's absolutely amazing it's this color right here and it, it just works it works with everything and again this is a color that will work on every single skin color and it will pull different shades on different people so I feel like if you have a more tanner complexion it might pull a bit more brown whereas on me it pulls very gray but I really love that whole dead like ghostly kind of gothic thing and I don't know I just really love to throw this on when you know when I'm going out and it's just a really nice nude without being just a boring nude so absolutely love this um yeah and the next lipstick I've been loving is this NYX matte lipstick and this is in the shade nude number one nude and um I really like this because it's not a typical nude again this is a really corally kind of nude it's very peachy colored and I just absolutely love it I don't know if you guys can see that there it's a very peachy coral nude and it's it to me it's very orangey pink but it's such a gorgeous color it's that perfect nude without being too nude even though I do love those kinds of nudes but it's just a really nice summery kind of nude to me. I don't know. But I really love this. I got this off Cocktail Cosmetics, if you guys are wondering as well. But I just love this colour. And I've been wearing it to work. I've been wearing it on a daily basis. And I just love it. I've got some kind of random favourites this month. So um, next favourites are body jewellery, apparently. Um, so I did get... I've ordered a few sets of plugs because... Um, you guys have been asking me to do an updated plug collection and honestly I wear these white plugs to death and I think I only have two plugs in my size right now which is 22 millimeters and all the other ones are too small for me so I want to get some more plugs before I do a collection so anyway I've got these recently and these are just literally basic stainless steel um, tunnels and the other tunnels I have are just purple acrylic ones but I really just wanted a pair of stainless steel tunnels and they're just basic stainless steel tunnels and I've just been liking them they go with everything and I feel like everyone who has their ears stretched needs a pair of stainless steel tunnels and um, I just got these off eBay there's heaps of sellers that do them and they're pure stainless steel and um, these are double flares and they're just Amazing. I could wear them as rings as well, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, just basic stainless steel tunnels. And my next favourite is another thing that I got off eBay, but um, I used to wear um, diamond, like diamante um, cheek balls, and I decided to buy myself more, so I got a pack of these diamante cheek balls. I can't really show them up close, but I'll try and include a side slide. Look! Uh, close up and um they're just literally clear crystal because I like my jewelry to all kind of be like silver and clear crystal and um yeah they're just nice because I can alternate between like having just a normal silver ball on to these ones and yeah they're just really pretty and they're the perfect size because the other ones I had the balls were really big and they looked way too big for my face so these ones uh the perfect size so um yeah, if you guys want to know who the seller is, just let me know and I'll link it to you. So my next favourites are some Lush products, of course, because you guys know I've been on a Lush craze this past few months. Um, but I wanted to show you guys just a few of my favourite bath bombs. Um, the first one here is Granny Takes a Dip. I honestly didn't think that I would like this one as much as I did. But, like, it smells just... Ugh. It's, it smells amazing, but I don't know, it wasn't one of my favourite scents, but when I put it in the bath, it was incredible. I couldn't stop taking pictures of it. It literally just makes your bath like a rainbow, and it's amazing. But I'm just so sad because they're going to be discontinuing Granny Takes a Dip, which really sucks. So that's why I stocked up and I got another couple of them, because I just absolutely love it. So I'm so sad that they're discontinuing it. But I also wanted to mention it because if you guys want this bath bomb again, you need to get your hands on it because it's going and I'm so sad about it. But it smells amazing and this one's been one of my favourites to have in the bath this month. My next favourite here is Dragon's Egg. I don't know if they're discontinuing this one. I don't think they are, but don't hold me on that. Um, this one just looks basic, boring, like a white bath bomb with a few different colours to it. You put it in the bath and it honestly, it's golden on the inside. So it makes your bath this orange, bronze, copper gold. And it's so amazing. Again, I took a picture and a video of it on my Instagram. So you guys should check that out if you haven't seen it. It smells absolutely amazing. It smells like sherbet and 
lollies and candy and it was just so pretty in the bath so um, again an amazing bath bomb and I highly recommend it this has been another one of my favorite baths for this month this is a random favorite um, I don't really know I'm mentioning it because it's from the Lush Kitchen which um, the Lush Kitchen I think every week they bring out a new product and it's limited edition but I know you can get this permanently in the Oxford Street store which is in London um, but I want to mention it because some of you guys have been asking me to do like a tattoo care video which I might do one if you guys are interested on how I keep my tattoos really bright and um, we recently me and Alana both got one of these this is the elbow grease moisture bar by Lush and it's literally just this like tube with like product in it and you just squeeze it up and rub it on your tattoos and it says um this moisture bar while this bar is supreme it moistures like a dream why it tattoo it's a tattoo brightening bar and um it literally is like it specifies that it's for tattoos and it says top tip you got ink glide this bar over tattoos to make the color um, and detailing pop um, and it explains all the stuff that's in it and it's just got a bunch of coconut oils and butters and all that sort of stuff I would read all the ingredients in it but it's just really nice and it's so buttery and it smells quite good actually too so all I do is I've been rubbing it on my tattoos and it's so buttery and you just rub it in and it's just been really you know bringing out the color of my tattoos. I'm really pale anyway, so my tattoos stay really vibrant, but um, this is really nice to just put the moisture back into your skin. You don't even need to just use it for tattoos, but um, it's just a really good way to keep the color really bright because of course like your skin can go dry and I really do moisturize a lot, but this I put on every night before I go to bed over my tattoos and just, just to keep them really hydrated and keep the color in place. And um, yeah, just thought I'd mention that. So if you ever go to the Oxford Street store, you should definitely try and get your hands on this little bar. And maybe possibly Lush will make it permanent. We'll see. So my last few favorites are some kind of fashion and accessory kind of favorites. Um, you guys might have seen I recently did like an order from Momoda and I got some bits in their big flash sale they were having and the first thing is this choker which you guys have probably seen me wear a million times. Um, this was reduced to I think like a pound fifty or something and it was so cheap and I wish I'd got more because there were a few different coloured ones but it's just this like golden chain and it's got a blue crystal in it with all these diamantes around it and I've been honestly really loving this because I love chokers and stuff but um, the elastic -y ones are sometimes just a bit annoying and they move and shift and I don't know they sometimes feel strange I don't like wearing them for a long time but I've been really loving this and it's got an altering chain so it's perfect for any neck size and I just think it's really cute with this crystal there and it's really cool to layer with other chokers so thought I'd quickly mention that because I think Lush is Lush I think Lamoda is still selling them but yeah it's just a choker I've been wearing it so much I really love it and my last thing from Lamoda is a pair of sunglasses and I've been wearing these religiously when it's been sunny we've literally had rain in the UK for the past three weeks I swear so it doesn't even feel like summer but when it has been sunny I've been wearing these bad boys these are just some sunglasses I don't know if they have a specific name but they're from um, La Moda and I did a haul a La Moda haul so if you guys want the links check that out because they're all linked in the description to all the stuff I got but I just really love them they're just really big huge um, like sunglasses and they've got this tip and they're awesome and oh my god I just love them and these ones have that like leopardy print kind of thing I don't know if it's called something but I absolutely love these only these I lent them to Alana on this day we went out for this big hike and she dropped them so I now have a scratch on the lens and it's oh it's really annoying like so yeah just note to self don't let your best friend borrow your sunglasses ever again but um yeah really love these and Lamoda does heaps of different sunglasses as well so yeah and I think in these ones there were a few different colors I think they did white and black and then they did like this print oh is it like a tortoiseshell print is that right tortoiseshell print I don't know but this is like that animal -y print kind of vibe because I don't have any glasses like this but anyway I'm blabbing I really love these <laughs> and my last favorite is a pair of shoes that I've been loving and they are these shoes here. Um, these I got from Misguided and they're called like the mermaid sandals or something like that. Anyway, they're just these basic holographic like rainbow 
like crinkly sandals. I don't know. I was looking for a pair of flat sandals that I could wear on a day-to-day -day basis because I have a lot of flat forms but I go to Cardiff quite a bit and it's a lot of walking and my flat forms are really comfy but I don't want to risk like falling over or wearing them for a super long period of time and like you know what I mean. Um, so I want just a pair of flat ones that I could just easily stick on. So I got these, they're from Misguided. I think they're about 15 pounds and um, they're really nice. They're like cleated sandals so they've got the cleats on the bottom and they're absolutely gorgeous and I was worried they weren't going to go with a lot because of the colourfulness but because I have such like a lot of colour in my closet it works so I've got like it matches everything and it, like all the colours in the shoes are stuff that's in my everyday wardrobe if you get what I mean so they go with everything for me and I really like them and they have like a crossover buckle strap here but you can also have them like in place straight if that makes sense so you have like different ways to wear them and they're so comfy and they just look super cute unfortunately it's been raining the past few weeks but other than that I've been wearing them so much and they're super comfy and they're really sturdy shoes as well so yeah I got these from Misguided and they're absolutely amazing. So that is it you guys for my July favourites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure if you did give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, also if you guys, of course obviously you notice my room is set up differently. I do have a room tour that will be coming up possibly in the following video from this or the next couple of videos so you guys are probably like wow why is your room different you didn't tell us um yeah I did update my bedroom and I moved everything around and I got some lights and shelves and a mirror and everything so there will be a bedroom tour um coming in the next video I think from this one I just had to of course upload my July favorites before that so there will be a bedroom tour coming so keep a lookout for that um I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um yeah make sure you subscribe to my channel there'll be links down below to my social networking sites and my Etsy store and everything like that um, yeah, that's it. I don't have anything else to say, so I love you guys so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day.